You're watching the video review of Animated Leader Class Bulkhead. Now as you can see, he's similar to his Voyager class version. He does have these turrets as well as these missiles on the side. But other than that, you know, some more rivet detailing, but more or less the same vehicle mode. And, um, you know, rolls just fine. Um, green APC. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. You've seen it before. Um, if you hold the button down, he makes siren noises. He does that for as long as you hold the button down. You can just tap it and he just does it for a couple seconds. Or not even a second. But you can hold it down and keep it going. Um, to transform him, fairly simple. Just lift this up. You can see his hands back here. Uh, pull the legs down. Like so. Flip the feet. And then grab his waist here and pull it down. You'll see a little tab pop up here. Flip the wheels up and then that tab plugs back into the joint. Um, extends his legs. Flip these pieces up here and put these side pieces up. Take this and push it down. Bring his arms around the front. And then this piece slides all the way up like that. This, um, these pieces come down like so. This piece plugs down and tabs into the back there. And then you separate that and rotate those up like so. And get them in there. They lock that lock those pieces into place. Pull up on this. It makes a transformation noise. And then this whole chest piece flips forward some and allows the arms to peg in. Sometimes it can be a little tough, but you just pop these into the grooves on the side here. There we go. And then uh, something I haven't seen mentioned in other reviews is that these split apart, and I see that, but they're actually designed to uh, snap right in there, up in here into that. There's actually a nice little groove up there, I don't know if you can see it, that is specially molded specifically to hold that. So it kind of hides those things and they snap them into place so they're not as floppy and wobbly. Um, and then you just take these missile pods and rotate them so the missiles are facing forward. And there you have leader class bulkhead. Um, he does say many different things. He says, um, time for the big guns. You can do it, buddy. And sorry, my bad. Um, the missiles are removable. Um, they've got little grooves on the bottom there that plug into little tabs here, so it holds them with the de gold detailing there facing out. Um, you'll see this one has two regular hands because I reshelled. I took the mecha. I had two of these, and I took the mechanism out of this hand and put it into a right forearm shell, and they both both still function. You see the grabby hand mechanism there and grabby hand mechanism there. Um, and here's the other one. I took the, did the same thing with the other one, but gave him two saw bladed hands. And this would be the other gimmick. Normally his right arm is a saw blade that spins and reshell again did the same thing, put the mechanism in the right form and it still works. Still spins just fine. So um, I've actually sold him. So lucky animated fan out there gets to play with double bladed saw. Okay. Um, Posability, he's got feet, knees, and um, legs, can go forward and back, side to side. He has no waist articulation. Um, arms, ratchet and forward, and ratchet at the elbow. Um, the hand articulation again, as mentioned. Um, his head turns, but only so far as the uh, as that lets it, you know, just the same. Is that His mouth usually opens and closes. The catch on mine's a little loose, so it doesn't open quite as much as it could, but... Basically, his eyebrows raise up and his eyes get big and his mouth opens when he talks. Um, he also comes with the Headmaster accessory right here. And when you put that on him, his lights blink red instead of yellow 
and Headmaster takes over. And then, as long as he's on, every time you push that button, Headmaster says ownage, total ownage. Um, and Headmaster does fit on Leader Megatron as well. He just plugs right on. He doesn't change any of the sound effects. Megatron still lasts, but um, he does. He does have the tabs, and he does fit on there. Um, size comparisons: you can see there he is next to uh, Leader Megatron. He's a little shorter, um, but that that makes sense. Um, here he is next to Voyager Bulkhead. So you can see he's a much better size to fit in with the rest of the Autobots. He's a little bit more cartoon accurate aside, you know, aside from the weapons, but especially with these hand, the normal hands, he looks a lot more like the cartoon. Now, a little bit more rounded, not quite as square, but I mean, don't discount the Voyager. Short, but a very, very good toy. I, I highly recommend him. Um, and here he is in comparison with Leader Prime. As you can see at the top of the ears, or Voyager Prime. Voyager Prime's slightly taller, but um, but much more accurate show-wise, um, their sizes. He's much more bulky and and much more show accurate in relation to Prime than the Voyager. Um, but all in all, that's all there is to him. Um, I know a lot of people were discounting him. I think he's a really good figure. Um, he's a lot better than I was expecting him to be, especially with the two regular hands. Um, or even the two saw bladed hands. I think just having the two two of the same hand um, really does wonders for him. And, and the saw bladed hands, you can unscrew the hands and take the saw blades out. So he could, he'd have two regular hands on the saw bladed version, just not grabby hands, not with the with the mechanism here. But um, that's it. Um, I highly, if you have the money and you want to pick him up, or you're thinking about picking him up, I recommend doing it. He's he's really a good figure. Um, Aside from, you know, you can't get wrong from an actual talking bulkhead. So there it is, the review of Transformers Animated Leader Class Bulkhead.